without this place, man, I don't know, I don't know where I'd be. Just being in here, man, kept me on the on the right path at least, you know, to get me get me out of my youth safe, got me into college, got me got me to where I'm at right now. Everything I learned in this room was home to a lot of uh, a lot of kids, man. Saved a lot of us. A lot of life lessons have been learned in the streets of West Phoenix. That's where, that's where I became a man at. We used to, you know, run through this little street right here, um, playing in the streets. Took a lot of a lot of lumps in this yard right here. You gotta hold your own, you know. If you say something, you better be ready to to stick up and stand for it. If you're a little punk, you can't come outside. You ain't gonna be outside hanging around with, with with the other people in the neighborhood, so. You, you have what's available to you and you make do with what you have. I mean, if we had an arcade, a video arcade or something right on the corner, that's where we would have been, but we didn't have that. You just learn little little street tricks, you know what I mean, here and there, just to, to, to better your situation. This is my house, this is the house where I would live that I got beat up more times in this backyard than, uh, than you probably will ever see me get beat up ever again, <laughs> hopefully. This feels like home, it's cool. It's, this just is what it is, you know? It has a tough look, but whatever, you get through it. You know, when I first met John Moraga, he started coming to the club at a young young age, real small, 80-something um, pounds. And he'd have to ride a bus probably an hour and a half. But he'd be, he'd be there sitting there waiting, waiting for us with his bag down. And you know, you, you start liking a kid that's, you know, especially if you're a coach, you know, that kid that wants to be there. So you do extra, extra for, for kids that want extra. Frank would would be knocking on my window early Sunday morning. I, I didn't want to answer, and he would stay outside knocking, calling me, get up, we're going to go run. And then he'd take us to go eat pizza or to the movies. He, he went the extra mile, and he put a lot of effort into, like, putting his time into us to make sure that we weren't out messing up. And a lot of kids growing up in that kind of area, it takes time, you know, for them to get used to the coaches and, and the, the kids in the room getting beat up sometimes. But he accepted it. He accepted it really fast. And so I knew right away the potential he had, and I know he noticed it right away. I knew right away, and there was goals that we had, you know, and, and we ended up accomplishing them. We did good. Without them, I'm pretty sure I, I, I'd probably be in prison, to be honest with you. This is home right here. John made himself the what, what he is today because, you know, he's a believer. And he, and he believes, and he believes. I think after that state tournament that he won, the, um, that kid was ranked 12th in the nation at that time in All-American. Probably lost this kid 10 times, 12 times prior, and won in double overtime. Never quit. He excelled and did something that was, people didn't think he'd ever be able to do. I've been an underdog my whole life. Since I started right here, I've been an underdog, so it ain't nothing new to me. Yeah.